Everything is beautiful. This I truly know. Yes, I like to watch, watch my garden grow. G'day, my friends. Marty Ray here for the Marty's Garden Show. And today I'm going to show you how I grow Zone A microgreens. Yes, for the balcony, the backyard, in the house, you can use this anywhere. It's such a simple system, really cheap, and produces a lot of healthy, nutritious food that the kids love to eat too. How do I know this? Because my daughter eats it every day. Yes, we like to grow the food, grow the food and pray. We're getting out and eating greens, fresh greens every day. So yes, my friends, what are we going to need today? Well, first I want to show you where you can get to. Now this is Zone B, what I like to call Zone B or Stage B. And these are red sorrel baby leaf plants. I grew these from microgreens, but that's the next stage coming on further. And today we're going to talk about zone A, where you can get food growing fast from anywhere to 7 to 14 days, on an average of around about 10 days for most crops. So I'm going to tell you what you need guys. Firstly you will need some trays. These ones I use are just the trays from the nursery that they used to grow seedlings in. Lots of aeration, bottom water feeding, and compost put inside. Now I use, I make my own compost with worm castings, but a good quality compost or a good quality organic potting mix without too much heavy wood chip in it works really well too. So let's get stuck into it, shall we? So the easiest way to do this is just have something like this, a $1.50 bag of dried peas. Now you can use the same method for microgreens, all different types of microgreens. Just got to remember that the larger seed takes up more space in your tray. Now if you're growing commercially, obviously you want to use more seed. Now I go through about four trays for one bag, I think it's a 250 gram bag. And because I'm just growing for Karen and myself, I like to spread it out fairly sparse. And it doesn't look as pretty when it's not as, as thick, but you get a lot, lot less fungal problems. And remember, you're just recycling this compost over and over again anyway. And then I cover it with some vermiculite. And vermiculite is a great way to cover all types of seed. It's so light. There's a few different grades of it. You get one, two, and three, but it doesn't seem to make much difference. I found what grade you get. I think that number one is just a, a heavier grade, and as you go down to three, it's a lighter grade. But I can't remember exactly if I'm right on that. But um, usually I, I found that I just buy any grade, and it works just fine. And then once that's done, you just water in the bottom tray and then cover it over with a lid and put it in a nice cool spot, a nice cool dark spot and wait until they start touching the roof. Make sure they keep moist, not wet and you will find that you will have germinated pea shoots in about four to five days and then harvestable within two weeks. So I hope you get out and share your day and have some lots of fun. Get out and make the garden grow and get out in the sun. Put that tablet phone down and eat some nutritious food. You know why it's so, so, so good for you. All right. So. There we go. If you haven't subscribed to Marty's Garden, you have been watching the show and you want to learn how to grow fresh food fast in urban places and small spaces, make sure you subscribe to my show 
It's gonna be lots of fun, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. At Marty's Garden. Kai, what are you doing? Oh, um, I'm looking at the lizard. Where is he? Um, he's hiding in the rock now, Daddy. Is he gone? Yeah. Um, it's a good old water dragon as before. Remember that little one, Daddy? The little water dragon, Daddy? Yep, I remember. The little crab black crab, where it's that's him, Daddy. He's grown bigger.